This is just a simple evaluation test thing of this uh, Marlon P. Jones 9616 PS. Just a cheap uh, $50 um, bench switching supply that I got. Because I don't really have a decent bench supply. And I'm just doing a bit of a noise test. The uh, trimmer's a bit finicky. But um, this is the um, noise on the output. And um, about frequency is bouncing all over the place, but it looks to be these peaks in about 20 microsecond centers ish. I'm not quite sure, more like about a little less than 50 microseconds, so it looks to be about 70 odd kilocycle, um, being 70 odd kilocycles being the uh, main switching frequency, and about 60 odd millivolts of noise, which isn't too bad. I'm just using a couple of um, 17 watt um, ceramic resistors as a load, 100 ohms each, all wired in parallel. Are kicking off a good deal of heat, which isn't surprising given that they're combined dissipating about 14 watts, and about 21.6 volts. Making an audible squeal now, I'm dropping it down to about 6 volts. And the amount of noise on the output has dropped. But, uh, come on, for trigger. Yeah, that looks kind of squirrely, but. Yeah, about 50 millivolts of noise, and the specifications are two are. No more than 200 millivolts. Overall, that's uh, fairly good. And I'll probably do a uh, gets video of this in a bit, which I'll probably tack on later on in this video. This is the guts of a Marlin P. Jones model 9616 PS, zero volt to 30 volt, uh, zero ampere to three ampere. Uh, switching bench supply, just doing a bit of a gets video just to see if the internal construction is decent and it isn't screamingly great, but I've seen a lot worse. Um, this uh, main power transformer is just held in by the solder joints on the board and it's kind of hard to see, but it isn't fully seated in, so I'll probably rework those solder joints at some point. Um, did other things like an inrush, uh, current limiting NTC. Um, CLC um, filter with a common mode choke, common mode choke there. A couple of Y caps for um, QRM shunting. One somewhat unusual thing is that some of the hots in this thing are uh, a lot of the hots are indicated with a green wire, which is common in China and um, also Russia, but I know it's still kind of derpy. Um, blue neutral, of course, that's also their. Um, Standard neutral color. Um, and of course, the difference between that and ground being that the ground has a yellow stripe on it. So, yeah, that kind of uh, something. But um, decent isolation gap on the um, board. Runs right through here. Also, this has been off for a couple hours, so the caps are discharged. Um, risk of shock hazard, blah, 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 etc., etc. You know the drill. Um, so, there's the isolation barrier. Looks to be. A bit thin in places, like right there, but nothing screamingly bad. Also, have some holes drilled out under that one transformer. Um, also, that small transformer, which is probably either a base or gate drive for the main power device. It's uh, that down there. It's a 2SK1358. There's also that device down there, which is, I think, the main output rectification MOSFET. Um, all the Linux in this thing are JC branded. There's a logo right there, uh, 221 degree Fahrenheit. Um, it doesn't explicitly say it on the outside of the power supply, but this is the 120 volt version, meaning that there's this uh, jumper which turns the um, uh, um, input rectifier into a um, 
potential doubler instead of just a p conventional grade bridge, so you'd have to cut that if this were 240 volts, although I don't know. Might not want to use this on 240 volts at all, even with that kind of a modification. And it doesn't say it explicitly on the back, but I'll probably add a sticker saying 120 volts only. Um, uh, input, you know, again, aforementioned inrush NTC, there's that device, which I think is probably some part of the um, input switching for the um, main power supply used by this thing. It, it's marked TNY277PN, so I think it was just one of these um, single chip switchers, at least it has the um, VIL7 package, which those things usually have. Um, another inductor there, probably some kind of filtering. Um, that, which is I think also part of the uh, main input power supply bit. Um, this riser board here, which has a um, TL494C, that's just the uh, main switcher. That's fairly standard. Um, switch mode controller IC, um, these two ribbon cables, one of which goes off to the um, liquid crystal display um, daughter board, one of which goes to this board, which just has the um, front panel trim pots on it. Uh, coarse and fine. Just looking at the traces, these look to be wired in a series. Um, and a couple of just um, <coughs> adjustment trimmer caps right there, or no, uh, trimmer resistors right there. Um, also, this um, bodge board, or this um, bodge cap, which is just a couple of capacitors um, across the output. Uh, also, J JC branded, at least the, the, the Lytic is. There's also a um, little film one right in there, a little brown thing, and two Y caps uh, connecting each side of this to ground. Also, this um, 5 volt 470 ohm uh, burden resistor, just so that there's a, a load on the power supply bit closer to this lytic than I'd like. I might try experiment with relocating that. It's um, let's see, 470 ohms. That'd be about 63-ish milliampers at 30 volts. That'd be about dissipating about 1.6 to 1.8 watts at full load. So it would get a, a bit warm. You generally don't want that with lytics. Um, that resistor right there, which is, it's I think a 1% metal film just by the fact that the housing is blue. And with focus, focus, um, this one's a, so that'd be 10 ohms, which is a bit high for it to be a shunt. I, I think that might be something else. That, Thing right there could be the shunt, uh, that rather thick jumper. I know where exactly the measuring the current on this thing. I haven't really gone super in depth into it, but uh, overall, it doesn't look horrible. It's uh, this uh, hybrid PCB material where it's a mixture of uh, fiber and uh, paper phenolic, so not as good as the pure fiberglass board and. Um, but still better than some of the stuff I've seen in Chinese electronics. A little vent fan on the back, which is controlled by just a little thermal switch on the heat main heatsink. That just turns the fan on when the heatsink gets up to about 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Just according to the thing. And then on this board, which is the only other really interesting bit of it, is uh, this ship, which is a BU. 9793, which, judging by all the thing going out to all those various vias, that's going to be the LCD driver, then there's an LM358 um, operational amplifier right in the center of the thing, and then that's a PIC 16F676, which is probably just acting as the, um, for just the um, display management stuff along with that PCB, with, or, or that PCB mount uh, button, which is probably just a reset, and there's also a couple of trim kit, um, uh, trimmer resistors right there. Somewhat interesting though is that the chips are all marked in. And then down there's just a couple of uh, surface mount tanks and um, ceramic caps for bypassing. And a um, that one chip or device right there, that's just a 78L05 um, 5 volt regulator for the microcontroller. And other than that, it doesn't seem to be too bad a uh, bench mode supply. Um, 
50 bucks from Ronald P. Jones, actually 49.95 or something like that. Um, also check the, um, which will be uh, probably I'll tack onto the end of this video, or put it in the beginning. So I've already seen it, but I did check the uh, noise on it, and it didn't get above 60 millivolts, which isn't too bad for a cheap switcher.